Aaron, I think you're getting a little too worked up about this uh, comment. This is, I'm not going to talk about who it is, but I don't usually get into the business of predicting and suggesting businesses uh, for what would happen in a free society because there's no way in hell my ideas would end up being the best. Uh, but what you're advocating uh, by opposing anarcho-capitalism, in quotes, um, is the initiation of violence. Yes, nasty people will still be nasty without a state, but right now you personally are condoning a system of violent aggression based on your uncertainty of what would happen without it. Um, the, yeah, the you personally in all caps, I guess, is what got you upset. Um, and 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 yeah, you say it's a it's a false dichotomy for him to assert that um, the only thing that that can be without a uh, without a state is anarcho capitalism. Um, but th and he, he he I guess could have articulated this better, but there's actually good reason to believe that what the, the way people get things in the absence of a, a of an an organized system like a state, I really can't think of any other kind of uh, non, uh, not-for-profit um, organized system that actually provides a service that, that there is a demand for. Um, I, I can't think of a way to do that, like a way to organize that without uh, doing it for profit that isn't the same thing as a state, that isn't coercive. I mean, if... Uh, I, I think you need to you need to show us the uh, the the uh, the third option. You say there is. You say no. It's just a logical fallacy. Oh, wait a minute. You did. That's right. You did it in this video. I need to listen to that again. All right. Give me a second. Okay. That's right. You said um, that that uh, many non-state uh, societies or societies without a state existed for you, you said 190,000 years before governments but the, the problem with that is that it, it, that's I, I, I don't see why uh, I should believe that I don't see why why you're so convinced of it I, I, you probably need to explain that a little bit more um, because uh, as long as we've had governments we've had writing and we we didn't have writing um, before government so um, in anything that happens before writing, I really don't know uh, how you're going to be so sure as to whether or not the uh, the, the um, judicial services were provided for profit or not, or whether there was a state or not, whether there was a, a system that you could recognize as a state or not. Um, how, how, how do you know all that? I, I don't I don't understand you how you could know that if nobody could write it down. Uh, to tell you about it, I, I, the oldest writings describe a state. So I mean they, that's what they talk about. So I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't see it. I honestly don't see the third, the third way. I, I, I do see it as a dichotomy. I see either you organize a state, or or you trade for your, the the services that that you want. You want arbitration, you have to pay for it unless there's a state. Because, I mean, how are you going to get it? <laughs> Once you organize it into, I don't know. I don't even, I can't even think of words to describe such a thing other than doing it for profit or having a state. I, I, please, you got you to gotta do better than that because I don't see it. I really do see it as a dichotomy. So, um, and, and yeah, looks like Larkin didn't, I guess that's Larkin, it didn't, um, uh, explain all that in the comment thing and consider now that's it's, it's a you know you got a 500 character limit and you know, I guess he didn't have to capitalize the um, you personally and all that and make that assumption that you're actually advocating force maybe you don't realize you're advocating force um, but that's the way we see it see so that's the thing oh now you're gonna be mad at me I guess because I'm defending uh, Larkin's comment but I mean, I just this is that's this is the way I see it. It's it really is a dichotomy as far as I see. I don't see any other way to to get uh, the services, arbitration service, you know, justice, um, uh, security, defense, all that stuff, unless you either set up a state or pay for it. 
So, and and then you said, yeah, there are a whole bunch of other uh, systems that are rooted in the non non aggression principle, and and I, 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 I like which one? Which one is really not a state? Which one really offers you a, a voluntary a system of governance that that's uh, internally coherent? I I don't know of it. I guess I'm ignorant. Maybe you can you can enlighten me. Tell me about explain anarcho syndicalism to me, or um, anarcho communism, or, or whatever. In, in, any whatever other. I mean, I, I'm 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 aware of many other systems, but I'm not aware of one that's voluntary and internally coherent, other than um, these uh, this th these descriptions of of uh, what businesses might arise to provide the services that you want and need in, in the absence of a state. Um, it's, it, there's, there's a disconnect here in, uh, when, we, when we talk about these things because you're seeing anarcho-capitalism as a system, as a system that has been devised by these guys who call themselves anarcho-capitalism. That's not what it is. All we're doing is speculating as to what would probably happen in the absence of a state. And all we can think of uh, is, is that people would provide the services that, that we demand for profit. That's the only way we can think of to do it. Without a state, you see. Now, and and then you say there's, it, it's just a, it's just uh, an ideal. It's it's it's. Uh, there's no historical example of anarcho-capitalism, but that's not true. There there are historical examples. Ireland, man, Ireland was just exactly this. They had judges who you paid. They they called them brehons. Um, they they uh, they emerged. They emerged as um, guys who, who could be trusted to render a fair decision and were familiar with the common law of the area, um, and they were paid. Um, they had uh, their, their systems of governance were called Twatha, and they, uh, they, they were voluntary. You could either join one or you could not. You didn't have to join one. This is uh, uh, during... Uh, uh, a time when most systems are 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 fu uh, feudal systems, um, where y you know the the landlord uh, uh, owns everything and kind of makes the rules on his own land, and these Twatha they had kings and whatnot, but they didn't um, cover they didn't claim sovereignty over any particular um, swath of land, so they they were they really were voluntary. <clears throat> and uh, the the one really cool thing about them is these the they didn't employ the Brihans. The Brihans were separate. The guys who who um, dealt with things like security and war and all that, um, they were the Twatha, and they did they were separate from the Brihans. They you 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 went elsewhere for to find uh, somebody to to uh, settle your disputes. You didn't go to your king or Twatha. Sometimes the king was subject. To the ruling of a, 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 a Brian, so um, and it was it was it was all for profit. You paid dues to be a member of one of these associations, and if you didn't want to, you didn't. That's the way it worked. It was for profit. So the 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 examples we have of emergent systems, you that is what we see. That's precisely what we see. We see these things being prov provided on a for profit basis. So, I mean, I, you may not like it, but I. I it seems like the only way. It really seems to me like the only way to do it. So, all right. I've tried. I honestly tried to imagine um, other ways of, of doing it, but I, I can't. It seems like you either have to set up a government or you have to accept that these services are going to be provided on a for-profit basis. It's a real dichotomy, as far as I can tell. It, and it... it if you want me to believe that it isn't, if you want me to believe it's a false dichotomy, you have to do better than just asserting that there were plenty of um, voluntary uh, uh, systems of governance before writing, because that's not going to do it. I, I mean, explain to me why, what do you know that I don't, that, that, that um, allows you to assert that with such confidence, okay? And what, do you, what do you know about these other ideas, these other theoretical systems that I don't? That allows you to assert that they are, in fact, internally coherent and that they're voluntary. 
I, I'd really, really, really like to be the one invited to your uh, uh, roundtable discussion or whatever it is you do where you, you discuss these issues live. Because uh, um, uh, so far, I'm the only one I know of who's actually given you an answer on how uh, uh, something like murder or rape would be dealt with in a, in a stateless society. I, I actually address I, I'll address these questions directly and won't dance around them and act like they're, they're meaningless questions. Um, uh, Stefan Molyneux doesn't do that. Um, Larkin doesn't, he said he didn't like, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I don't even know, know if that's him or not. I'll mute that out. Um, uh, who, uh, whoever that other guy is that you had on there, he doesn't answer your questions directly. He doesn't answer anything directly. He just talks about what he feels comfortable talking about. You ask a question, he starts talking about something else. Everything in words. Send me, PM me, I'll PM you again. Get me live. I'll answer these questions and we can have a civilized discussion back and forth. I won't, I won't uh, ra attack straw men and, and pretend that I'm uh, attacking your arguments. I won't insult you. Um, but, y y you know, I will um, tell you the truth. I really do like this. This is a real dichotomy. I really think this is, you're, you're mistaken about that comment. It, it, it is a dichotomy.